Hi guys, Student Pilot Hans here. And for this video, I will be answering your questions na pinapadala niyo sa page namin and sa Discord server. If you are new here, I am Hans Marie. I am a student from the Philippine State College of Aeronautics and I am studying visa. Alright, for the first question. Kuya Hans, libre po ba ang tuition fee sa Pilska? Yes, libre po ang tuition fee sa Pilska. Dahil ito sa RA10931 or the Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education Act, wherein all state colleges in the country ngayon ay libre na. Second question. Libre po ba ang flight training sa visa? Yes, libre ang flight training sa visa. Ito ay dahil na rin sa RA10931. May nakausap ako noon na 5th year aeronautical engineering student. At sabi niya, 1.8 million ang cost ng flight noong hindi pa libre sa Pilska. So, bakit nga ba libre ang tuition fee at flight training sa visa? So, as you can see here, First two years ng course ay ACAD. Then, third and fourth year ay flight training na. So, as you can see, part ng course mismo ang flight training, kaya kasama ito sa binabayaran ng gobyerno. Now, you guys might be wondering, kaya ba i-shoulder ng gobyerno yun? Di ba sobrang mahal ng flight training? That brings us to another question. Kuya, ilan po ba ang ina-accept na visa students every year? May quota po ba? Or lahat ng makakapasa as BSAT ay tinatanggap? Every year, there are only two sections of BSAT students, numbering around 30 for each section. Although wala namang sinabi ang school na quota or limit sa tinatanggap nyo lang students, for only two sections per year level, expect na around 50 to 60 students lang ang tatanggapin nila every year. Now, this answers the previous thought na kung makakayanan ba ng gobyerno na pag-aralin ang mga visa students. Yes! Because if you think about it, only a select few ang natatanggap sa visa. Not to mention na mahirap din ang pagdadaanan na process ng mga students during their stay sa Pilsa. That brings us to another question. Kuya, Mahirap po ba maging visa at student? <laughs> Mahirap ba? Yes! Guys, visa is hard. Madaming screening tests na pagdadaanan before getting to the flight training itself, which is nasa third year pa. You'll have to pass the Philsca admission test, the Aero 80 qualifying exam, and kapag visa student ka na, every semester, you'll have to survive the retention policy, no failing grades, and your G general weighted average must always be 2.25 or higher. And upon reaching the end of your second year, you'll have another battery of exams which will determine if qualified ka na mag-proceed sa flight training. So guys, mahirap. Mahirap talaga siya. Pero don't be discouraged guys, this program is here for a reason at baka ito na yung paraan para maabot mo ang pangarap mo na maging pilot. Remember, we are fighting for our dreams. Don't let anything stop you from getting there. Pray ka lang at put in the work. Someday, you will get there. Another question, ano po ang mga kailangan para makapasok sa visa? To get into visa, you must pass the admission test and the qualifying exam. At upon application, dapat 90% ang general weighted average mo. At least, 90%. For the complete details, I already made a video just for this topic. Andiyan na lahat ng kailangan yung malaman guys, so please check it out! Another question. Ano po ang makukuha na licenses after graduating sa BSAT? BSAT covers PPL, CPL, IR, and ME trainings. Another question. Ilang years po ang visa? At pwede po ba maka-avail ng flight training ang galing sa ibang course? Visa is a 4-year course with 2 years of ACADs at 2 years na flight training. Ang flight training ng visa ay integrated na mismo sa course. 
hindi po siya separate or independent of flight training. Kaya kung gusto mo mag flight training, kailangan mo talagang kunin ang course na visa. For details about the visa course, I already made a video about that topic. So please check it out guys. Another question. Kapag may natapos na ba na course sa college, pwede pa ulit pumasok sa fields ka? Yes, pwede pa. Although, hindi na po free yung tuition kapag may na-obtain ka na na degree. Based sa guidelines ng RA10931, if you have already acquired any degree, hindi ka na eligible for free tuition. So there you have it guys. I hope I answered your questions. Feel free to ask more questions. I'll be making a part 2 for this Q&A video. Follow me on Twitter and leave a comment on this tweet at sasagutin ko sa part 2 ang mga tanong niyo. Next up, let's talk about BSA. I'll talk about the program, its pros and cons, and my plans after taking this course. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please subscribe. And always remember, future captains, dream big, aim high, and go follow your dreams.